Welcome Aquarius to your weekly love read. My name is Rose and we're going to dive on in and ask the tarot and the oracle cards about the outcome of this connection. So if you're tuning into this reading Aquarius it's because you have a connection to somebody and you want to know what does the future look like with this person. You may have been um, casually seeing this person uh, you may have recently just started dating this person. Maybe you've been with this person for quite some time and you're not sort of sure where this is all going or if it's going to land into anything more serious or evolve here. Uh, but we're going to find out. OK, so we're going to dive on in now. We're going to kick off using the Wisdom of the Oracle deck just to bring in the messages of perhaps the recent past. And then we're going to take a look at the current energies and the future outcome. If you are connecting to the messages, uh, Aquarius, just note that there is an extended part to this reading that you can follow on. You will find that link in the show more section just below this video. Uh, don't, don't hold back in showing your support, Aquarius, um, by liking, sharing, subscribing, dropping your comments in the comments section below. Don't forget to turn on that notifications bell upon subscription as well. That way you're always informed and notified of when I release a new video here on the channel. There's also a new special feature called the Super Thanks. Um, just note that if you use the Super Thanks, you will also be supporting the channel. And whichever way you support the channel, guys, just note that I'm deeply grateful and appreciative, okay? Alrighty, so, so far we've got time for a nap round and round, okay? And clean it up, all right. So it looks like in the recent past, you guys, that... Um, Someone was getting sick and tired of the same thing happening again and again and again, which is further clarified by the round and around cards. Like we were going round and round and round and round in circles and sort of it wasn't leading anywhere. Uh, it was just like the same thing was on repeat, repeat, repeat. And I feel someone here may have needed to initiate like time out time out in this connection time out just to take a break because it was getting a little bit exhausting maybe mentally exhausting I'm seeing the mind sort of rolling around and around and around overthinking things and it just got so exhausting um, because it was bringing up a lot of confusion as well and I feel like this time out or this need for rest or respite from the connection um was needed to kind of clean up possibly like a toxic habit. I mean, this could have been toxic. It could have gotten to that point where it got a little bit toxic or it became um, unhealthy that, yeah, someone just needed to clean up some kind of a mess. I hope that makes sense. Hmm. But I also feel this clean it up card um, also speaks to clarification. So I feel if there was um, someone that took themselves out of this connection, I feel the clean it up card would be that that person, whoever walked away or whoever called for the time out, has needed to explain why with the clean it up card. Okay, so I feel that you, if, if, if it was the other person that you're connecting to that just needed to walk away, I feel that this person has told you the reasons why. They've explained themselves. Okay. Hmm. Or it could be that this person had to go away and tie up loose ends and sort something out because it was like something was just constantly on repeat, repeat. And until they sorted this matter out, uh, it's like this um, situation or connection cannot progress. Yeah, because it got too exhausting for someone here. So let's take a look at the current energies. 
Spirit Angels and Guides, can you please tell us more about the current energies of this connection for our beautiful Aquarian family, please? Don't forget to hit the like button if it's resonating with you so far. If you would like a personal reading, guys, feel free to reach out. I do have to let you know, though, that positions are limited. So it's just a matter of first in best dressed. Okay, let's take a look at the current energies. Yeah, look at this. The tower. The tower. I'm getting like internal scream with the tower in reverse. I don't know why someone was internally screaming or calling out for help. Yeah, look at this massive tension. Um, we've got the hermit card. Mm. And the star card. Aquarius energy at the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups. So, Aquarius, um, it seems like for some of you, you may be connecting with a Virgo here. For others of you, you may be connecting to another Aquarian with the Queen of Cups. There could be strong water energy here as well. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Underneath that is the Page of Swords, more air energy. Okay. So I still feel like there are feelings involved with the Queen of Cups. Okay, when I see the Queen of Cups, it tells me that emotions and feelings are very much still involved. Okay, I, maybe you still love this person. Maybe they still love you. Uh, this could be the mother of your children or you could see this as the mother of your children. Uh, maybe you do have children together here. Okay, or maybe the situation is about children. But I do feel here that someone needed some time out with the Hermit card. Someone needed to go on a bit of a soul searching journey to find answers, to seek answers, to seek solutions, to um, a resurfacing problem. Okay. Now, the thing is, is someone needed to take themselves away because if they didn't, there would have been a blow up. OK, I feel like the, the tower in reverse to me, it feels like there's a silent scream here. So someone is silently screaming. And it was creating very much um, internal conflict. And I feel someone here in the current energies is avoiding conflict or is avoiding a blow up or is possibly avoiding the situation um, from going from bad to worse to the point where, you know, you, you can't come back from. I do feel with the current energies, Aquarius, that there is healing that is taking place. And I feel like healing is possibly being restored within the both of you, maybe in different ways. Now, with the star card, it tells me that someone is still hanging on to the hope or the wish that things will work out that things can correct themselves here. And it very much can because the hermit is, you know, sitting side by side with the star card and it may just involve, you know, taking the lessons of the recent past and then applying what you've both learnt to the current connection. Okay. Okay. I do feel with the Page of Swords that communication um, may be a little bit of a struggle or there may be a bit of a struggle to communicate effectively how one is feeling. So let's take a look at the future outcome of this connection. Be sure to hit that like button, guys, if it is currently resonating with you here. I am also on other platforms, you guys, so feel free to connect with me on Instagram in particular, where I do upload monthly general readings over there. Who knows, there may be a message over there waiting for you. 
let's take a look at the future outcome of this connection. What should Aquarius know regarding the future outcome of this connection? We've got the King of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, strong Leo energy here supported by the lion in the background. I do feel um, that this is a passionate connection. Okay, this is a passionate connection. We've got the Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords. Okay, interesting. So there's a lot of physical and emotional attraction here for the both of you. Um, I, I do feel with the Six of Swords that it's kind of like a disruptive connection or it's kind of like a rocky connection or it's kind of like an up and down connection. Where I feel like you will still encounter problems. Um, but with the Six of Swords, there's always an intention here of you both wanting to move past it and get to calmer waters. Okay. I do have to say here, um, with the King of Wands sort of leading this row... The King of Wands is a very independent person. Okay, they don't like being told what to do. So I feel as long as you're or one of you isn't telling the other what to do, it may just flow and it may just work out. The tower at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Pentacles. <sighs> Eight of Wands to me is a positive card. Okay, so the future outcome does look positive. So it, it, anytime there is an upset in this connection or someone comes in and rocks the boat a little bit, I do want to say because the Eight of Wands is coming in after the Six of Swords that it, it will always work out. Okay, it will you will always overcome that rockiness. Um But I feel like there's going to be a lot of tower moments in this relationship. Okay, this, this connection is designed to bring a lot of tower moments, Aquarius. Okay, a lot of transformation, a lot of change, a lot of growth, a lot of learning is um, what's in store when it comes to this connection, I have to say. So that's where I leave it, you guys. If you'd like to carry this on over on the extended, we will dive into this person's true feelings for you at this time and any possible actions that they will take. If that sounds like it's for you, you will find that link in the show more section. But for, night, but for now, not for night, but for now, Aquarius, this is where I leave you. Take care. Bye for now.